Uh, now we shall learn how to incorporate AJAX into our MBC application that we have been doing till now. That application has been done without AJAX but now we shall be adding AJAX to it. Let us see how to do it. Before we uh, proceed directly to AJAX in this MBC application, let us study briefly how AJAX works. Suppose this is one form that we have. In this form, I have uh, this is suppose a page and inside this page I have a form and then there is a button. If it is not an AJAX then clicking on this button posts the entire page to the server. everything written inside the page or uh, I would say it is better to say that the entire page is reloaded. When you click this button it causes a post back to the server. This form data is available to you in the action method you have written there but the entire page is reloaded small picture is there even that will reload so to the user a lot of discontinuity appears He has to wait a little bit. So if you have seen these Facebook and all, they are rich AJAX based applications. You are entering something and the moment you hit enter, the page at the remaining page stays there only. Only the small amount of information that you typed goes to the server and the response also comes back. The entire Facebook page is not participating in the postback process. Only one small part of the page is, po is, is participating. As if this is the only page that is on the application. There is no visible flicker. And since small data is going, maybe 100 bytes, and small data, maybe as low as 5 bytes or even 2 for OK is coming from the server and the user experience remains the same. In this case your purpose is to save the, this data into database. But why involve the remaining page in the process? there is no point in it. AJAX will help us only involve this relevant part of the form in the job that we are doing. Our objective is to store this information into database that is the sole objective. Let the remaining page remain non-participative. 